Jimmy, do you copy? This is Jimmy. Started climbing. I just finished uh, making a film called Free Solo. It is about Alex Honnold. He is the world's greatest free soloist, meaning that he climbs rocks without using a rope or any safety equipment. He has this audacious dream to free solo Al Capitan, a 3,000 foot wall in Yosemite. Nobody in the world would ever want to be ropeless on Al Capitan. Every single move has to be memorized. Every single handhold has to be memorized for 3,000 feet. You know, it literally was perfection or death. When you're making a film like this and the stakes are this high and the achievement is this extraordinary, you have to be very specific with the kind of equipment you're gonna use. We knew that we wanted to shoot with real cinema cameras and real cinema lenses and really push the craft of the film. So the C300 Mark II was an obvious choice for us. We knew that we wanted to shoot for a big cinematic experience, so we were shooting 4K. We needed to have a camera that was easy to use, that was very dependable, and we love how C300 colors and pose. Big advantages for us also is that it is a great Verite camera. There's a lot of different parts of the story that we have to be able to shoot as we followed Alex for two years. We wanted to use really good glass, so we filmed with the Canon cinema lenses. We shot a lot on the 17 to 120. It's fast. We also have a good range of focal length. You know, these scenes are kind of unfolding in front of your face. We were constantly moving from indoor to outdoor. Sometimes we were in very cramped spaces. We shot a lot inside of his van. There's oftentimes not a good moment to stop and change lenses. When we were looking for greater depth of field and nice, beautiful bokeh, we were using the Cinema Primes, especially if we were in low light. And we also had to use some of the big guns, you know, the 50 to 1,000, especially on the day of his free solo. Ultimately, I think the film looks beautiful because of the cinema cameras and the cinema lenses that we were able to use. We just feel really grateful that we were there to witness one of the greatest athletic achievements of any kind ever.